That's a story, amigos. This is Kino with some cool stories for today's story time. Welcome to AT Story Time. Today I'll be reading out of A Light in the Attic, Shel Silverstein. This one's called Tired. I've been working so hard, you just wouldn't believe. And I'm tired. There's so little time, so much to achieve, and I'm tired. I've been lying here holding the grass in its place, pressing a leaf with the side of my face, tasting the apples to see if they're sweet, counting the toes on the centipede's feet. I've been memorizing the shape of that cloud, warning the robins to not chirp so loud, shooing the butterflies off the tomatoes, keeping an eye out for the floods and the tornadoes. I've been supervising the work of the ants and thinking of pruning the cantaloupe plants, timing the sun to see what time it sets, calling the fish to swim into my nets. And I've taken 12,041 breaths, and I'm tired. Again, that's Tired Shell Silverstein. Tired, that one was called out of classic light in the attic. Shell Silverstein. Yeah, man. I don't know if you're a vibe, dog. How'd so, you like it? It's a it's a deep story. I feel like it can be taken a lot of different ways. Yeah. Um, with the whole just the um I feel like the imagery he uses, you know what I mean? Supervising the ants and yeah. stuff, warning the robins not to chirp so loud. It's just stuff that uh it's just very, very abstract. And it's folk really, folk. you know what I mean, those are small, real small things that might go miss. If yeah. you don't pay real close attention to it. I feel like the only reason he was able to pay real close attention is because he had nothing else happening. And that's what I actually felt like between, you know, the warning the robins not to chirp so loud mm -hmm. and I'm tired, you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay. But I feel like, you know, if nothing else, if no direction is given, your mind will settle on what direction is available. Ooh. So if you if you sitting around, you don't have nothing going on, you gonna find something to be like, okay, this matters to me now. Right. This matters because it's all that I have going on right now. This matters because this is the only thing I can worry about, the only thing I have any control over right now. So I'm gonna worry about this constantly. And I feel like that's just another knockdown to the rel relativeness of the like, you days. know what I'm saying? That's so, the days right there. Yeah, and I feel like um, this, I, that again, even reiterates the fact that, you know, passion isn't something that just falls upon anybody. You have to go out and actually find it or introduce yourself to something that actually feel passionate about it because the fact is, if you sit around something long enough, you will be passionate about it. This dude became passionate about what the ants was doing. He became right. passionate about what the robins was doing out there. He became passionate he had about the leaves, about the breaths, bro. And after some research, that dude, 12,041 breaths is only like 11 hours, 12 hours, you know what I'm saying? So it was only like, that was how much time. That's what happens. If you, that's what happened when you had nothing, nothing to do, nothing, nothing. nothing to do. You had no balance. That's I'm gonna sit balance. there and count my breaths all day. You will, your body will find balance. It will, and it may not be the balance you want because uh, he was focusing on. I, I mean, I can assume in that sense he was focusing on the obligations he had that day, which were, you know, he was fishing. He was trying to get some food for his for the crib, or just enjoying outdoors. It could have been. You or, know what I mean? Could have been an saying? off day. Could have been. It could have been, but the fact is he had nothing going. He had, he had no type of priority. He had, he had nothing to do. He had nothing, of, at least in the path of what he was trying to become. You know what I mean? There was no motivation there. There was no type of no type of fulfillment, no type of a push or passion to try and get to that point. So right. he, he felt like, I'm tired, tired, I'm tired, you know? But I feel like in the sense of, uh, you know, when, it, when it's not your true goal, um, the toll it takes on you, is that much more, you know? And obviously that's just related straight to the relativeness because we're, you know what I mean? How loud the robins were chirping and the ants, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? All the cantaloupe, all that stuff is relative. Even being tired in itself is yeah. relative. Everyone is yeah. tired, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's part of the days. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're all yeah. tired. <laughs> Sleep and all that tiredness, that's all in your head. You yeah. can curve all of that. But the days, 
He said, yeah. <laughs> the days point, makes it very difficult to curb, yeah, obviously. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, when it comes to the point where it's something that's just like affecting you, like, man, I just feel this. On my, it's on my back. Like, it's all I think about. Yeah, it's yeah. in my thoughts. So <clears throat> it is what I'm doing. You know but I mean, mean, that's again, that's the balance right there. Because if you don't get no sleep, bro, you will find you don't, yeah, Nobody will course. find a way to get some sleep. Of course. Whether you on the freeway driving or you working on your project, right. you're going to get some sleep. You know what I'm saying? Your body going to force it. But that's the thing with balance, man. You got to understand what's needed of you and what needs to happen in order to sustain that at least that progression that movement mm -hmm. towards your actual true goal Just you know being so. healthy like no one wants to be tired every day of their life that's not cool. that's basic bro that's just basic <laughs> <laughs> days yeah. gonna make us tired of course that's the story yeah. time for y'all of course the intro video is out of course the Monday mix is out. Fire, man. Check that. The intro is out. The retwist it's is out. It's about to come out later on this week, along with the topic video on Friday. So definitely you stay tuned for that. Um, hit the bell, subscribe, like, comment. Um, let us know what you think about the story, what you took away from the story as well. Right. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, man. More content on the way. Peace.